this is what my iPhone 14 Pro Max looks like. No basic zone. What's up Stitch Gang? Welcome or welcome back to another video with the Stitch Live. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing what's on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. I recently uploaded a video unboxing my new iPhone 14 Pro Max. You guys really seem to enjoy it. So I want to come back and share what's currently on my iPhone. I've customized my entire iPhone. So if you guys would like to see what's on my new iPhone 14 Pro Max, definitely stay tuned and keep on watching. Before we get into what's on my iPhone, make sure you leave your girl a thumbs up. Make sure you leave your girl a thumbs up down below if you're new to my channel or you've been watching for a little while you've been lurking make sure you subscribe down below and become a stitch gal become a part of the stitch gang and also follow me on instagram to keep up with me on and off of youtube and now that we've got the intro out the way let's go ahead and get into what's on my iphone 14 pro max so if you guys haven't already checked out my video of me unboxing my iphone 14 pro max i'll go ahead and link that video up above in the cards and also down below in the description box for you guys to check out after you've watched this video in full or if you guys want to go check that video out first and come right back after you finish that video in full and check this video out feel free to do so as well just to keep things in order so really quickly I wanted to run through my accessories since I didn't actually share my accessories in the most recent iPhone unboxing because I, they didn't come in the mail as yet so here we are but this is what my iPhone 14 Pro Max looks like this is my current screen saver and this is what my current case looks like. So I purchased this case from a online shop. I actually saw the ad for it on Instagram and I went ahead and ordered it. And it also has this pop socket on it as well. The pop socket actually is a pink mirror and it's in the shape of a heart. Because my camera light is reflecting off this, it's gonna kinda change the lighting, so I'm gonna put it up right next to my face. But the wording on the pop socket says, every moment of my life. So I don't know, I really like this phone case because I love hearts, one. But I also really like the fact that this pop socket is a mirror so I can look at myself in it. And this phone is being used to record every single moment of my life or a lot of the moments in my life. So I did really like this phone case and you can purchase the phone case with or without the pop socket. So if you don't want the pop socket on it, you could choose to get it without the pop socket. And there is another little message on the back as well. But I'll leave the details down below for you guys. And I did also go ahead and put on a screen protector on my phone just to protect the glass. This this one is a privacy screen protector. Ever since I've had an iPhone, I always kept the privacy screen protector on it because back in the day, I used to take the train to school and I used to hate when people were looking over my shoulder to look on my phone. So I almost always have a privacy screen protector on my phone. So now that we've went through the accessories, let's go ahead and get into what's on my iPhone. So let me turn on my screen recording just so you guys to see what's going on here. And that way, you know, you can see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. And I'm also going to shift my body just a little bit so I can put up the recording on this side of the screen. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and open up my phone. As you guys can see, I have the whole home screen customized, right? I decided to go with blue in my unboxing video. I, I shared how my phone was customized on my iPhone 11 Pro Max, but I wanted to switch things up just a little bit with this new phone. I went ahead and did so. So I got some of these icons from this app. Let me find the app really quickly. From this app called Top Widgets, you can go on here. I'm actually just gonna show you guys this real quick. It's not sponsored or anything like that. But on here, I think you do have to pay a little bit for this app. On here, you're able to choose different icons and set up your entire screen without actually going in and customizing every single icon, which is what I did on my old phone. I think I chose the blue smog of the day. And you can go ahead and install all the icons, which is what I did. And then some icons were missing. So what I went ahead and did was created some more icons on the Canva app, which is this one to the left of the calendar, the Canva app. So I went ahead and just created some icons that I needed, i.e. the Canva icon, the Wix icon, the Facetune, Fonto, and Superimpose X icon, which is on the bottom of the screen. So I just made sure I went ahead and did that. I also went ahead and added widgets on the Widgetsmith app and on the Color Widgets app. So I'll leave these apps down below as well. But let's just start with the first page of my home screen. So as you guys can see, I have a picture of myself. This is actually from my birthday. So I went ahead and put up a picture of myself on the top left side of the screen. And then I have four icons. The first one being my settings icon, the second one being my photos icon, the third being the notes app, and my camera. So I kind of kept the setup the same as my previous iPhone just because I'm used to clicking on certain parts of the screen to open a certain app. So I kept things pretty much the same for the new iPhone just because I didn't want to have to relearn where certain apps were. 
so I have everything pretty much the same and then right underneath the picture of myself I have YouTube studio which is how I'm able to track track my videos how my videos are doing on the YouTube app I also have the Instagram icon because I'm always on the gram make sure you follow me at the stitch life I have the Twitter icon which I never go on Twitter I don't even know why I still have Twitter child but I have Twitter on here and I also have the YouTube app on here as well because I'm always watching YouTube if I'm not re-watching my own videos 99% of the time I'm watching my friends videos on YouTube or I'm watching some of my other favorite youtubers so to the right of those four icons I do have the calendar because as you guys can see I don't have the calendar app or anything like that on my home screen so I do just have the overview of the calendar and we are currently in the month of November so I think I found this one on Pinterest and I just saved it and opened up my widget smith app which is how you can customize your home screen with one of those apps and I opened it up inserted that picture in my widget smith app and set it to my home screen so I typically like to see um, my battery percentages on my home screen so I went ahead and added the batteries icon on here as well so whenever I'm listening to my airpods I can see how much percentage my airpods are on which I currently can't find them let's not get into that but um, I could track my airpod battery on here and also my phone battery and I think you could track the apple watch on here as well but my apple watch is dead so let's also not get into that but to the right of the batteries and I do have four more apps the first one being the maps app because I do do a lot of exploring in the city and a lot of the times I don't know where I'm going so I do have to keep the maps app open and I also have Safari that's one that I customize in the Canva app because I'm always searching up something on the internet I also have the weather the weather icon because whenever I wake up in the morning I like to check the weather as soon as I open my eyes to see how I'm gonna dress because New York's weather is very bipolar so I always have to have the weather app readily available and I also have the whatsapp icon because that's how I talk to a lot of my family members because a few of them don't have an iPhone which is totally fine I get y'all Google people I get you guys are Android people but that's how I typically like to video call them because I can't video call them regularly like we can with the iPhone or FaceTime them rather and then along the bottom I have the apps that I open on an everyday basis so that is the phone app that is my mail app that is the messages app and I also have my music app I did customize the music app as you guys to see and I think I customized the mail app as well so again some of the apps I did use I did find on the top widget app but some of them I did customize in Canva so let's go ahead and swipe shall we and on the second part of my home screen you guys can see i have another picture of myself this one is again from my birthday i love how everything is like coordinating really nicely the colors are coordinating well i didn't even get into my background my home screen background but i do have this picture of the saint laurent store in woodbury that i took on my old iphone my 11 pro max and i just set that as my screensaver and i like how it complements and pairs really nicely with the icons and with my birthday pictures for the screen so so at the top right i have the chase app i have the capital one app i have the shop app which is a great app to have on your phone if you need to keep track of all your packages when your packages are going to be delivered and i also have the amazon app which i actually need to change to amazon i need to reword that right underneath my picture i have the wix app which is how i keep track of my on caprielle i also have the t-mobile app i have the pinterest app because i go on pinterest almost every day to find inspiration and to find a lot of backgrounds as well and I also have the Canva app which I use for a ton of things Canva is an amazing app and then to the right of those four apps I have the color widgets that shows me the month of the the month of the year that we're currently in and the day of the week right underneath that color widget I do have four more apps and I use all four of these for content creation the first one being facetune sometimes I do a little do a little, little facetune on my pictures before posting them on Instagram and then I also have the Fonto app which is what I use to create a lot of my YouTube thumbnails this one included and I also have the superimpose X app which is also what I use to create some of my YouTube thumbnails and lastly I have the retouch app which is one that I use to edit some of my pictures if someone's in my background trying to photobomb me or if I need to get rid of some trash that's on the street next to where I may have taken my picture I like to use that retouch app and then right next to those four icons to the left of those four icons i have another picture with the back out this was also taken on my birthday my most recent birthday so when you swipe 
again it shows all of the apps currently in my phone I, I like to have my phone looking very clean and organized as you guys can see which is why it's organized to the T which is why it's organized to the T you guys can see my battery is dying it just popped up in my diamond app in the dynamic island which I've really been liking but I actually but I'm actually still getting used to it I'm still trying to figure out the scroll down and stuff like that but I do love to see my music playing right at the top and I do like that I do get a bigger screen because before with the older phones we had that piece at the top that was really just the speaker phone so I like that I have the dynamic island on this phone now it's really cool but I am still learning the phone I haven't even had it for a full month yet so I really wanted to just come back on here and share the accessories that I got for my new iPhone 14 Pro Max I do have another one coming in the mail so I'll most likely share that with you guys in an upcoming vlog so make sure you guys are tuned into my vlog but I hope you guys really really enjoyed watching today's video of me showing you guys what's on my iPhone 14 Pro Max if you guys enjoyed today's video and you like to see what's on my iPhone 14 Pro Max definitely leave this video a thumbs up subscribe to join the stitch gang down below as well and be sure to also follow me on Instagram at the stitch life to keep up with me off of YouTube and until the next video I'll see you guys all later Bye guys!